Hello everyone. I just want to show you an overview of the web application I've just developed. Okay, with Bootstrap, um, ASP.NET, C Sharp, and then um, SQL um, Server Database. So this is the application, of course, it's in Bootstrap, the um, interface, that's the front end, it's interface, so it's more of a portfolio website, because it is responsive, as you can see, this place is supposed to be a map, but because I'm not connected to the internet, so doing it offline, so written here, it's responsive, okay. But I um, develop it as a form of a job portal. So um, it's a company who are looking for people um, or ask people to apply for a job with them via their website. So you can see here, you can come here, sign up, or click sign up login button to apply for a job. So you can click here to sign up, but I will want to go this way. Click login. And then here you have login or sign up. So we don't have a login detail. So we're going to sign up here to get our login details. So here, I think I, let's use another name. Let's say, um, come with the email. Um, uh, let's say amina at gmail.com and dot com and then password one two three four five six uh okay sorry i think yeah, it's for full name so let's cut this and then paste it here so let's see her name is amina um Zuli. right then we click on sign up so sign up successful we should go to user login to login so uh, click on login and then we log in as amina so let's see right this should be our email gmail.com dot com then password one two three four five six let's click on login okay the login is successful so uh yeah let's just file our passport but i think i will just use this one instead it's my cv so as not to waste your time so for name here is amina zuli Let's see, she was born in 1990. Let's just say 2000, right? So we don't go far. But then, not to waste our time, let's just say June 1999. Uh, for June 1999, then her contact number is 090950. This, this, this. And then we'll provide the same email amina at uh, gmail.com. Uh, then we select state. Let's say amina is from Borno State. Um, city, let's say me to go right. Then the pin code, then full address, let's say Borno Street. May do worry. Right. Okay. Then identity. That's international passport. Let's say ID number. Let's say one, two, two, three, four, PN. <coughs> then happy VN. Just click in numbers. And then save and continue. You click on save and continue to take you to the next page so the other page it's more like her own personal information and this one is her qualification so highest qualification 
maybe DSC. But I'm not going to fill this. Now let's save our time. Of course, your primary school certificate, uh, primary school attended, university attended, your experience, number of years, two years, three other qualifications, personal qualification, other skills, and university attended. Second, of course, you're giving them your information or qualification. Then you upload your highest qualification. All right. Okay. So then we can go back to personal information. So this is where I want us to go. So we've, of course, by clicking on this and then signing up, um, the information has been submitted to the database. Let's check our application status. Of course, this is our application status. Now it's pending. Get it? So let's log out. So let's assume the admin logs in or the company now wants to check um, the details of the applicant right mm, to know who called it who is qualified for the job now they go one two three four five right i'm logging in as an admin now so once the admin comes in this is all the information of the people that have applied for the job so this uh, this the information of the people that have applied for the job right so i guess this is amina here right so this is our information the one we just provided because this is the information amina so uh, of course let's see the hr board members and all the people involved in screening the applicants let's say they've gone through our information and they've given us the job so the admin will just come here right search by email i mean all right um, then pop up i mean of detail of course the admin now has the right to delete applicants information so once i click on this button amina details i'm going to delete amina detail from our database so i'm not going to do that rather i think i'm going to shortlist amina so once he clicks on this button uh, amina is shortlisted right and once he click let's click on the other one let's see amina right so and then once he clicks on this one, uh, I mean, uh, let's see. Okay, she's rejected. Right now, I think we like Amina, like her credentials. So we're going to shortlist her. So let's click shortlisted, right? He shortlisted. So let's log out as admin. And let's log in again as Amina. Right, so um, Amina, what you know? Then one, two, three, four, five, six. And we're logging in as Amina. Right, then let's check our application status. Oh, wow, we've been shortlisted. Of course, you can simply write congratulations, you've been shortlisted just like you want it here. Yeah. So basically, this continue application, let me explain why it is here. You know, there are instances where you, um, of course, you've started the application, then um, you stopped like not completed the application then you log out so once you come in, you can just click on the continue application and then continue with your applications you see this information so provided them already and that's why we are seeing them after we uh, after we clicked on the continue application as you can see everything here it's responsive everything is responsive so Status responsive. 
so let's log out so thank you very much for watching i think i'm going to do a video tutorial i'm going to teach you how to design this um, using bootstrap asp.net c-sharp reform and then sql okay. using the sql as our database for our database thank you for watching